Been in the shoot. Good day, Chief here. March bespoke post. I was supposed to get the uh, drift off to sleep, whatever it was called. I'm a light sleeper, so it wouldn't do me any good because even when the rain hits my ceiling or my roof, I guess I should say, not my ceiling, I wake up and, of course, generally here in Texas when rain is around, generally a lot of thunder and lightning, too. So I opted out again for a product that I really appreciate, and it's not like I haven't talked about these before, but I opted out for Wick, the candle set. Huh, this looks like a different card. So I got a different card this time. I don't remember that picture being on the wick. I got online and I found a site that was selling these, but for some strange reason, I can't find a, a site that's just ash and fur itself. Because I noticed that when we got the, one of the first boxes I got was the notebook with the fountain pen and the knife. Uh, the notebook is from Ash and Fur. But I did find a site where some of these products, they only had two of the four candles for sale and they were like $18. So you're looking at about $20 a pop with shipping and all that and we're getting them for 50, 60. So we're getting a bargain. So once again, even packed different. So I'm just getting the candles again. I have my candles. I still have yet to burn one even halfway down. I'm looking at my candles. No, I have still have yet. I, I burn them all the time. I don't have one lit right now. I do love it up here in the loft where the computer room is. Uh, you know, your senses generally wants to get used to a particular smell. It wears out, but I go downstairs, I go I have to use the toilet and I come back and then you get that you get that rush of the candles. These are really good candles, so that's why I bought another one. These will not be a gift. Maybe a couple of them, I don't know, but once again, I got the wick candles. I love what they show to do with the bottles. I probably will keep the containers, I don't know. Uh, let's see what it says here. Clean them out once the wax is spent. Boiling water and a half hour of time should do the trick. Make sure you don't pour any wax down the drain. Well, yeah. And you've got a place to organize smaller toiletries. Plant a succulent. Stick some pencils. Stole spare change. And anything else you can think of. Oh, and for optimal burning, trim the wick to about one eighth of an inch with the, excuse me, with the scissors. This will, this will produce less soot and make the wax last longer. Smells nice in here already. Uh, to tell you the truth, I have not trimmed a single wick in my burning. Now, I, I do get those globs at the top of the wick that are nothing but waxy, little waxy balls. Those I do knock off, but I have not trimmed my wicks whatsoever. I haven't seen a trail of smoke come out of them yet. Except, you know, of course, when you blow them out, you get all that smoke when you blow out any flame. Uh, I haven't had any problems with the, the melting. I mean, like I said, my other four candles, I'm still going through them. So, this is Chief for March. Supposed to get the drift. Once again, I opted out. Will I keep opting out for stuff? I have no idea. I have worn my new... Uh, uh, what was it? The uh, new new white top and the olive green lounge pants from Bread and Boxers. I've already worn them a few times around the house because I'm old and nice pair of sweats to wear in, in these winter wintry days. And today we have a wintry day. It was 61 when I woke up and took the dog for a walk. It's now 41 outside with some icy rain. So, yeah. Of course, everybody says, well, welcome to wherever when you say, hey, your weather changes really quick. I hear that all over the country. So, March Bespoke Post Wick. Once again, more candles. I love soy candles. Like I said, they don't put that film on your wall. So, if you really, if you really want a good candle, get a soy-based candle because they don't put the waxy on the wall when they burn, which is really good. So, Chief out, remember... 
Yep, I still, still have no contact with a lot of my friends in Ukraine. So remember, freedom is not free. The Ukrainians are proving that right now. And they're kicking butt. But how long can they kick butt is a good question. So chief out. Remember, freedom is not free. Pray for Ukraine. Support Ukraine. Give to Ukraine. Thank you. You have my blessing if you do so.